and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. I'm sure this coffee cup and this look are a little bit familiar, at least the eyes. Um, they both come from the live, my first live that I did over here on the channel not too long ago. And the tea is the same as well. The tea is the Prevention Wellness Teas Organic India Immunity Tea. Supports immune health. It has a Tulsi, which is holy basil, probiotics, and peppermint. And if you watched the live, you know that I actually enjoyed the tea. But now it's cold, and we all know that I like a tea that can be cold or hot. It still tastes good. So let's give this a taste and see how it tastes cold. It's not as good as when it's hot. Um, the peppermint flavor is more muted. You get more of it at the end of the sip than when you're actually taking your first sip. And some of the bitterness that I noticed when it was hot is um, a little stronger. But it's still a good tea. Um, tea I would much prefer to have hot. It would probably work well in the um, lemonade tea that I make. Um, I take hot tea bags, I steep them, I mix them with lemon juice and water, and I make my own pitchers of lemonade tea. It's my own version of, um, what is it? It's a, it's a hard lemonade tea that they sell in the grocery store, and for some reason I can't remember it now. But I, I love that kind of tea, and I love having that mintiness towards the end of the, the lemonade, so it would be a good tea for that, I think. And, um, but I, I much prefer the tea if it's by itself to be hot. So still a good tea. It's still a good tea. Just probably not a favorite cold. So as noted down below, we're going to talk about my project pan and how pathetically I'm doing at that. Plus we're going to look at some of my empties and whether or not I'd repurchase them. Now, some of my empties are not actually empty because they were already repurchased and I just didn't keep the empty containers. What can I say? Let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with the project pan and we'll talk about the tart. I seem to be missing one of my tart palettes. I don't know. I've, I've looked everywhere at this point. I'm going to look a little harder. But the fact that I can't find it tells me I may have given it to one of my daughters. Although I looked amongst the one daughter who is here and didn't see it in her stuff. So I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to keep looking for it. I actually liked it, and I have a hard time imagining that I would give it away. Um, but it's possible, because honestly, eyeshadows last forever. And uh, that was the little treasure, buried treasure, the little square one with the funky circle pans. Um, I can't find it, so obviously I haven't been using it, so it doesn't, nothing much going on with it anyway. As for my big box, um, the only thing that has changed in my big box really has been that I have taken out uh, this color culture right here and I have ground it up to use it as kind of a uh, concealer. I still have it, so it is not considered quite empty yet. Um, I'm going to need to find another. Um, it's in this little itty-bitty alginist jar. Um, I am going to have to find another color that's very similar to it because uh, it actually works very well as a concealer on my eyes. It's got a light brown, as you can see, and it really blends in on my face really, really well. Um, I've got some time, but this is probably going to go pretty quickly. I don't think before the end of the year, but fairly soon after that, because I'm using it almost every day as, like I said, to conceal. As for the rest of this, I haven't really done much with it. The other day I did use some of the bronzer. Um, I don't even know what to do with this thing here. It just, there's no color in it at all. And the eyeshadows will probably last me forever in a day. But... You know, at least one thing's out of here. I wouldn't say I hit pan on it, even though you can see the pan. Uh, once this is completely gone, we can say that we actually hit pan on it. The other um, 
palette that I have, the Energy Noir, I've actually started using for eyelining a little bit. And I've actually used the blush, and I did use this color the other day. Um, however, again, there's not really much progress going on with it still. I'm more interested in more colorful um, palettes, and so it's not getting used a lot. So we still haven't done much with that. I'm trying. I swear I'm trying. But like I said, I'm terrible at project panning. Now, some of these I've mentioned before... Uh, the Tarte H2O, I really liked. It is empty. It, I believe it was empty quite a while back. I'm enjoying the uh, Neutrogena Hydro Boost that I'm using as a replacement for it. So this would not, be, none of these Tarte things would be a repurchase, to be honest with you. Uh, the Tartiest Brow Gel. I don't recall how I felt about this, but it is gone. I did use it up. Um, it's a brow gel. Uh, I actually prefer the, the ColourPop or the NYX. Uh, they're both pretty, uh, they're equivalent on how well they work. So I actually much will, when it time comes, I will probably repurchase the NYX because you get more product with it. But I did get through that. The next thing we have, I didn't exactly pan, and it is this little lip crayon, lip pencil, I don't know if there's it was later gram. It was something they were giving away. Let's see if it says on here somewhere. It says it's a lip crayon. Um, this actually broke on me. It is a very, very thin lip crayon. Um, so I didn't exactly pan it, but uh, I didn't exactly like this anyway. So even if I were still supporting Tarte, I probably wouldn't purchased this. It was too thin. It was too dry. Like I said, it broke. I think I lost uh, about um, probably about a fourth of the product from here. Um, so yeah, I wasn't impressed with this at all, but it's gone. Uh, I think I also mentioned in a previous one that I was done with the uh, lights. I don't know. Is this the action? Well, it's one of their lashes ones. Um, I ended up not using it because it had gotten to be like four or five, six months old. There's probably still stuff in there, but I would not use it on my eyes. It was an okay mascara. Um, I actually much prefer the Urban Decay, uh, the style of Huge Extreme, uh, another one from BU that's hard to find right now. Um, but uh, yeah, so I got through most of that before I had to get rid of that. And then finally, from the Tarte, I got the Tartiest Lip Paint. Uh, this one, another one that's probably not completely empty, but it's empty enough that I can't really do anything with it. It's an okay color for me. I actually like their formula, but again, since I'm not supporting Tarte, wouldn't buy it. Um, but again, another one that's pretty much gone. So that is pretty much everything that's going on with my project pan. I'm going to continue to work on the two, three if I can find it, um, palettes and see if I can get through anything by the end of the year. Not holding my breath on that though. I'm just not using them consistently enough. Uh, for one, they're mattes. For two, they're neutrals. And I've gotten into much more colorful looks these days. So, but I'm going to continue to work on them and hopefully in January I will be able to say I got through at least something. Even if it's just the one shade that I've been using for concealer. So moving right along to my empties. Some of them are not quite empty. They're like right on that border. Others are actually empty. A couple of things. Um, but let's start, I'm going to start with the hair products. So first thing is this Moroccan oil. It is all, there's like just a little itty bitty bit and I'm going to use it for all it's worth. Um, I got this in the Sephora Play sometime last year, I believe. I love this stuff. It's got a beautiful smell. I love how it works on my hair. I've actually put it in my hair today because uh, I was attempting to do the coiling method and uh, my hair ended up frizzy and kind of a mess. So the oil helped with that. I love the smell of it. I love 
the texture of it. Um, it's a very thick oil. I have a couple of other oils and one of them is very loose and the other one is on the thicker side. I just, this one I really love. If I had a preference, um, if I had the money to get the one that I want out of the three that I like the most, it would be this one. And this is the Moroccan oil, just their regular treatment. So really love it. Very, very pleased that um, Sephora gave that to me. Uh, next is the Hibiscus Honey Hair Tonic. This is empty. I have just ordered two more of these. My hair loves this stuff. Um, it, I spray this on and my hair just soaks it up and curls up beautifully. And uh, I'm really anxious. I'm waiting for them to ship it. So would I order it again? I have and I would do it so again. It is um, $8.99 I believe, but I believe it's worth it. And um, my hair, like I said, just loves this. And it smells amazing. I think some of that smell is still in here. I can get this off. Yes. Yes, it's, you know, the both of these, the Moroccan oil and this have, um, even though this is more on the sweet end, they both have kind of a spiciness to them, which I really enjoy. Um, the next two are not actually empty, and that's because they are already rebuys, which tells you I would repurchase them. And one of them is the Eden Body Works Almond Marshmallow Hydration Serum. This is my second one. I have a third one sitting down underneath my sink for when this one runs out. And I've had this one uh, two, three weeks, something like that. So I'm going through it actually probably a little faster than I should, but I really do love this stuff. Uh, this stuff makes my hair feel um, juicy, as, as, as um, Lydia says on her channel. Um, it just, it really, my hair loves this just as much as it likes the... Uh, Tonic. In fact, the two of them together seem to really work really well for my hair. So I do highly recommend this if you have curly hair. And last, I have the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafuro Oil Intestine Hydration Conditioner. Um, use this up. I use a lot of conditioner when I condition my hair. Um, I just put it in there, let it soak on in, baby. Um, I enjoyed both this and the shampoo. At the time that I made the purchase, I had a coupon to get one for like $2 off. I opted to get the conditioner since the conditioner is the one that I use the most of. I am planning to get the shampoo very soon. I still have a little bit left in the one, my original one. Um, but it gives me great slip, it, it detangles, and my hair has great wet curl when I'm done using it. And it is a great conditioner to use when, um, for whatever reason, uh, if I've used products that are not um, Dami hair friendly, <laughs> uh, that have dried out my hair, this is a great, great conditioner to use to help rehydrate my hair. And uh, so, yeah, really, really enjoy this line and intend to get both it and the milk that I get from this line is almost out as well. So I'll be repurchasing that in addition to this and the conditioner soon. The rest are makeup and at least one of them I have mentioned once before, at least once before. So I will start with that. And that is the Vichy Clay Mask. Uh, this reminded me a lot of the Kiehl's Rare Earth Mask. Um, it has that same warm, tingling kind of feeling on your skin when you spread it out. Uh, it does the same, does a really good job, leaves my skin soft. The thing is, is uh, you can get um, smaller containers of this uh, so that you don't have to spend $45 or $40 on your mask. You can get these for $20. And they're actually, they're not the same in how many ounces. I'd have to look it up. But um, it actually ends up being a fairly decent deal in my book uh, just because being able to get that is affordable. This little thing lasted me four or five maskings, I think. So, but yes, I would definitely interested in repurchasing when I have the funds for it. Um, really enjoyed using this. My only problem is, is I've been trying to support brands that are more inclusive. And when I looked at uh, the Vichy site for, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, for things that were um, 
based on skin tone, on skin shade. Um, the two items they had only had four shades each. But it was only the two items, and I think Vichy primarily does skincare. So, I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Should I go ahead and buy the mask, even though they only have four shades of the two items? Or should I keep looking? Let me know what you think. Next, I have two nail products that are not quite used up, but are at the point where it's difficult to work with them. The first is this LA Colors Nail Treatment Mega Grow. Protects and helps problem nails for maximum growth. Uh, as you can see, it isn't quite out, but it is at that point where it is very hard to work with it. Um, I picked this up for a dollar over at the dollar store. Would I buy it again? Maybe. I have other items I'm using right now. I don't even have a base coat these days at this point, so I have to look into actually getting a decent base coat um, before I can actually put money into anything else. But um, I got this when I was just starting to play with my nails and I wanted to work with cheaper products to get an idea of how to do things so that if I spilled stuff or made a mess of stuff or whatever, um, at least I wasn't like, you know, losing a $12 uh, nail polish, which I have some I've gotten from Ipsy that are, you know, anywhere from 10 to $15 a piece. Uh, I don't know that I can say that it actually helped with the growth, but I can say that my nails have been stronger um, both since I started using this and actually they haven't seemed to weaken since unless I'm washing dishes. I will say that this did help provide a somewhat protect protective barrier for being able to wash dishes by hand. Um, and then I also make sure I have like three coats of top coat on top of whatever I've got on there. So uh, it's a possible, um, it's just a matter of whether or not it's available. I'm not finding that I really need it right now. So um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's an okay thing. It does. I don't think it actually encouraged growth. I do think it helped protect, if that makes sense. So there's probably other products that are better that can both encourage and protect. So we'd have to see. Next is this OPI Infinite Shine Long Wear Lacquer. I don't know. Remember what color this is in. And it doesn't say, but this came from one of those mini kits that I got off of, I think, Style 21. It was one of those places that had them for really cheap. And while, again, like the other one, it is not completely empty, it is at a point where it's kind of difficult to use. I can get some of it out, but then I end up with streaky nails because I can't get enough of it out. Um... I like the OPI so far. Um, most of the ones I have are tiny like this and I have enjoyed them. Uh, I would like to get larger ones. My problem is, is they are a bit on the pricey side and there is cheaper nut nail polish that's probably just about as good. So, would I repurchase? Mm, uh, maybe. <laughs> Go me, maybe. <laughs> I Like I said, I like OPI. It's the cost that has me kind of going, I don't know. Um, and the fact that I can probably find similar colors in a less expensive nail polish that works just as well for me. I think that's, for me, that's the only thing that is at issue at this point. And last but not least uh, is my Mineralogi. I've talked about this on the channel before. You see me, I talk about it. Uh, I think I talk about it when I do, well, maybe not. A couple of my older uh, Get Ready With Me's that are umpteen million years long, um, <laughs> I think I've talked about it, and it's almost always in my descriptive box. It won't be today. I just kind of threw on the uh, foundation today. Um, have other things I gotta get to. So <laughs> I didn't want to do all the color correcting and everything, but I really like this. You'll notice that there are two yellows, and that's because I'm actually on my second uh, lavender, second uh, peach, and second green, but I still had some of the first one of my yellow left sitting in there, so I just went ahead and added it to it. 
Um, these are, you get them in a stack of four, you cannot get the colors individually. You have to buy the stack of four, the green, the peach, the yellow, and purple. And they're about $20. And what I enjoy about this really, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my yellow one, is uh, the way they apply. Um, they have decent color. You can actually see it, but when you use it, it, it doesn't take over your face. You can see it doing what it needs to do. Um, let me get the green. Uh, since green is one of my nemesis, because I do have quite a bit of redness around my nose and in other spots. Um, and when I've gotten green concealers or green color correctors before, yeah, they diminish the redness, but they turn my face green. I mean, I can see that there is a green cast. And this one, you see it's very green, but it blends in nicely enough that it looks doesn't look like it's taking over your skin. I don't get that much of a green, I'm getting a lot in my lines. I don't get that much of a green cast when I wear it, but my redness is taken care of. So this is my favorite color corrector because of that. And will I purchase it again? Yes. As soon as all four of these are gone, I will happily spend the $20 or so to purchase it again. Um, I highly recommend it. And it's very, because uh, it's uh, mineral based, it's very soft, it's very smooth. Um, it feels almost, um, feels almost hydrating, although they don't claim it hydrates. Um, it's just a really good, smooth um, color corrector that does its job and doesn't turn your face, you know, the color of the corrector, so to speak. So we're done for the day and I hope you've liked what you've seen. And if you are not a subscriber, I hope you will subscribe. And if you do subscribe, I hope you'll click the notification bell so that you know when I upload. If you are one of the notification squad, you may need to check that bell to make sure it is still clicked. Um, still having issues with um, YouTube knocking out my notifications as soon as they emailed me that somebody has uploaded. So yes, keep an eye on your notifications there. Um, if you do not want to subscribe, it would make me sad, but I'd understand. But I do hope, even if you don't subscribe, that you will come back and visit us again. And when you do visit us again, I hope you'll bring your cup of tea. It's good. It's okay. I much prefer it hot. We'll stick with this particular tea being hot. You all have a great evening. Bye.